The museum is at Salisbury Hall, near to London County. During the war, it was the secret location for the design and development of the de Havilland Mosquito, affectionately known as the Wooden Wonder. The first Mosquito was built in secret at Salisbury Hall and is now on show at the museum to this day, among many other historic de Havilland aircraft. We have three Mosquitoes on display and we're the only place in the world where you can see three of these aircraft under one roof. On the first Sunday of the month, weather permitting, we roll out one of our mosquitoes to let visitors really appreciate the size and elegance of this historic machine. De Havilland pioneered jet air travel with the world's first jet airliner, the Comet. We have one of the first examples in the museum, and it's the only Comet left in the world with the original square windows of the early aircraft. The Sir Geoffrey de Havilland hangar is where we keep our smaller aircraft and also the older ones. Here you can get an idea of what flying was like in the days of open cockpits and fabric covered wings, as well as the earliest days of the jet fighter. Some of our aircraft are so large that we can't keep them indoors, but out here you can really get an impression of their size, and maybe get inside for a closer look.
Or why not take the controls yourself? In our pilot training centre you can have a test flight on our Link Trainer, one of the earliest flight simulators. Our instructors will take you through your flight and make it an experience to remember. We're a working museum and you'll have the opportunity to meet the restorers and take a close look at their work on the aircraft and the engines. Our de Havilland Dragon Rapide is something special. This is the only aircraft in our collection that we're restoring to full flying condition. One day this lovely old 1930s biplane will take to the skies again and will give passengers an authentic de Havilland flying experience. Maybe you'll be one of them. Like all good engineering companies, de Havilland had a large training school to educate its apprentices, and we tell their story here. And after your visit, there's plenty more on offer in our well-stocked aero shop, where you can buy drinks and snacks and browse our collection. Havilland didn't just build aircraft, they were also an engine manufacturer and this is where we display some of the company's engines, including some of the world's first production jets and rocket motors. We've got great plans for the future, let me show you the site of our new hangar. To bring more of our precious exhibits under cover, we're planning to build a new hangar and here's the site where it will go. It will house not only aircraft and smaller exhibitions, but it will have spaces for learning, social activities and storage for our huge document archives. But we can't do this without your help. You can help us build our new hangar by making a donation on our website, by visiting the museum, or by contacting our financial director to discuss other donation options. So there are lots of ways you can help us. You can either make a donation to our new hangar fund, or you can organise an event to raise money, or even just come and pay us a visit. You'll be amazed at what you'll find. <laughs>